All right, so now to talk about the cast AR. Uh, first of all, I wanted to show you something. I built this little rig. It's just a normal styrofoam mannequin's head. I chopped off the head and added two uh, Sony action cams for each eye. Sorry, one action cam for each eye. What that allows me to do is then have a remote viewfinder right here. It allows me to see whatever the head sees. And that's important because I then want to be able to take the cast AR glasses and set them up on this mannequin's head. Tighten up the head strap. And so at Cisco Live, what we may want to do is actually use this as um, being able to output the real-time video from the cameras to a nearby HDTV. And of course, it's not going to be stereoscopic because in order to merge the two, the left and right eye, back into a 3D TV, it requires some heavy lifting, but uh, at least this allows the user to see in 2D what the cast they are aware would see on the canvas here. Anyway, just uh, something to consider. Okay, so uh, I have a diagnostics window here just to show one of the problems I'm getting with this specific unit. Um, so in this debug window over here, I'm not capturing it by a frap, so I'm hoping that camera can pick it up okay. Actually, let me do that. A little bit. So what you're seeing here is the constellation of LEDs being broadcast by the fiducial. The fiducial is part of the cast AR system. It's what the glasses pick up on to recognize its anchor point within the VR space. That translates in-game to the virtual camera's location so that it then renders the image appropriate for the cast AR <laughs> location in real space. All that to say the end experience is that when you move left and right the actual avatars, the actual uh, 3D objects and all that stuff move as though they were anchored to the tabletop itself. So uh, what you're seeing in each, of the in each of the Oculus Rift is of course the point of view of the person driving. On the canvas you see both avatars running around on the 2D HTML5 canvas, a flat representation. The cast AR is exactly the same as the HTML, except it's in 3D. So as you can see, those are the two... Uh, oh, hang on. Glasses are losing their tracking. Uh, that's going to be tricky. <laughs> there you go. So as I'm walking around, you can kind of see the 3D... Oh, come on. So unfortunately, as you can see from the recorded video from the cast AR glasses themselves, uh, if we manage to display this in a separate room, a darker room, uh, you still kind of have the problem that the, the 3D models are quite small on the entire canvas. I want, if I want to be able to show the entire topology at once, it's quite minuscule and it's going to be difficult to point those things out to whoever's observing. Um, so, I was considering adding more controls to it to allow the where they cast they are to at least zoom into one avatar or the other and basically track him like a kind of a, um, a scroller game type thing, or zoom out and allow them to pan around manually. But those are things that we may not even want to introduce if this is not feasible, if the lighting isn't feasible and if we can't find a separate room that would uh, accommodate us. Anyway, that's it. Let me see. Anyway, that's what we wanted to show you. Alright, thanks.
Cheers.